Hi friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am sharing with you tons of morning cleaning motivation. So get up, grab that to-do list, and let's tackle it together. Definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And if you are new, please be sure to subscribe before you go. I would love to have you. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. So the first thing I like to do when I wake up is make my bed. I feel like this is a great way to start off my morning. And I'm excited to share that this part of the video is sponsored by Teamy. And if you guys have not heard of Teamy before, they are a wellness brand that sells lots of wellness products. You guys know I'm a big fan of my essential oils and lots of other wellness things, taking your vitamins and staying healthy. So I have been trying their skinny tea and their colon tea. And they also sent me a little detox, 30 day detox plan that comes with it. And it says right on the package, you mix a teaspoon of the tea with your almost boiling water and then you let it steep in this little bottle here I just think it is so so cute But I usually decide to make this like right when I wake up because I cannot drink tea when it is super hot So I will go ahead and make this and then let it sit and cool down a little bit as it steeps And then I will drink it after it has cooled down a little bit But I have really been enjoying these teas and if you are looking for a way to incorporate some more wellness into your daily life Then you should definitely consider checking out Teamy. I will have all their information linked down below in the description box as well as a code for you guys. Thank you so much to Teamy for sponsoring this part of today's video. Another great part of my morning is making my coffee. I also feel like I am a big coffee drinker. Let me know in the comments if you are more of a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. I definitely tend to alternate. Sometimes I like to have teas in the evening, which is why I've really been loving that tea me colon tea that they sent me because that is one that you're supposed to drink at night. But I have gotta have a good cup of coffee in the morning and I have been loving all of the new fall creamers that have been coming out. Pumpkin spice, I was so ready for it. So let me know down below, are you a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? try the night before to clean all the dishes in the sink and have the countertops wiped down and everything, but that just doesn't always happen. So usually in my morning cleaning routine, sometimes it consists of picking up stuff from the night before. So I'm just hand washing a few dishes that I had left in the sink. And another thing that I love to do in the morning to just kind of get me in the mood for cleaning if I need to do a big clean is to use some kind of really yummy smelling multi-surface spray and to put some essential oils in my diffuser. I just think that having different essential oil scents in my house really motivates me to get up and get cleaning. I'm just moving the chairs out of the way because I wanted the robot vacuum to do a little bit of cleaning before I mop. I always like to have him run and just kind of do a quick sweep of the floor because I don't like debris on the ground when I'm mopping. I want to make sure that it's all been vacuumed up. So I'm doing that and then just throwing in rugs and towels and stuff into the washing machine. Definitely try to get a load of laundry in as early as you can because it makes it so much easier to tackle multiple loads in a day. Ever since I have also gotten my cat, I definitely find that I have to clean up litter that has been scattered all over the laundry room. She's pretty good about it, but I definitely have to keep up with this every single day. This is for sure a morning chore. Moving on to the bathroom and I'm just tackling a couple of things, wiping down the sinks and then I'm going to also do the toilet. I also don't really do this every morning but for sure if it needs to be done I will add it to the morning to-do list. I also wanted to 
let you guys know that there is going to be a little grocery haul at the end of this video because I did go grocery shopping on this particular day. So I thought I would save it till the end in case you are just here for the cleaning motivation. But if you are curious to see what I picked up at Wegmans, then definitely make sure you stick around till the end. I want to know if you guys are morning cleaners or nighttime cleaners. I feel like a lot of my mama friends tell me that they love to clean at night after their kids have gone to bed because they feel like it is the best time for them to get things done. But I also could see why cleaning in the morning is really nice too because then you have an entire day with a nice clean house, especially if you're having people over. So definitely let me know down in the comments, are you a nighttime cleaner or a morning cleaner? I love mopping my floors in the morning. I feel like it is so much easier for me to see all of the dirt and grime. I guess it's just because of the way the sunlight comes into my house in the morning versus waiting till the evening and the lighting is just not as good. But these floors have been so neglected and especially ever since we got Kitty, she's been all over the place and definitely leaving little paw print. So these floors were on my list for today. Things that weigh me down. Cause in the echo of your silence, Another thing that I am doing more frequently because of Josie is vacuuming. She is a short hair cat, but I definitely think that I have to keep up with it and make sure that it doesn't get too out of hand. And I only have two rooms in my house that have carpet, but she does spend a lot of time in my bedroom. I leave this door open while I'm gone at work and stuff because her little bed is up here and there's not too much that she can destroy. So I do let her have use of this room when I'm not here. So I'm just tackling this in my office and then we are going to move on to that grocery haul. Look away Cause in the echo of your silence Okay, so I just got back from Wegmans and I wanted to include this grocery haul at the end of the video. I don't always go grocery shopping every single day, but I usually try to get it done either early in the morning or I like to go later in the evening just when it's not super crowded so I can get in and out really quick. And I needed to pick up a bunch of stuff since I am back to work this week. So I needed things I could take to my classroom and that were super easy and simple to eat. So I'm just gonna run through the stuff super fast. So I got a bag here of Honeycrisp apples and these, I love them, they are so delicious. And these are like the perfect size. I can eat one of these. Sometimes I feel like if an apple is too big, I can't eat the whole thing. But these are really good sized um, little apples. So I'm gonna pack those in my lunches uh, for this week. And then I got some of these salads. This is actually for tonight. I got a few salads for my dinner. Sometimes I like to do like cold salad night. So I got some seafood salad, some pasta salad, and some chicken salad. And then I also picked up some cantaloupe. So I will probably have like some of that too. Just like a really light, fresh dinner. And I already had crackers and stuff to go with this. And then this is my lunch just because I needed something really quick. So I'm going to eat this as soon as I put all of these groceries away. And then I did get some salad. It's just me since Jack is um, on a like business trip. So it's just me. So I just got a bag of salad. This will probably split up into two salads. And I will add my own chicken to that. 
And then I got these for snacks at lunch time at work. So there's snap peas and carrots here. So those are just super easy and simple to snack on. Um, I needed more butter. And then I got these. I have never tried the pairings kind before, but this is a dairy-free yogurt that I have had before. And it is so delicious. Um, <laughs> literally says so delicious. Um, no pun intended. But it's really, really good. And I like the key lime pie and I had not tried this. It looks like it comes with graham crackers and white chocolate pieces and it's like divided. So you mix it kind of like the Chobani ones. I just much prefer these because they're dairy free. Um, so I got a couple of those for like snacks probably. I probably won't eat those for breakfast, but like a healthy snack. And then I picked up a couple of these. I call them adult Lunchables but this just makes my life really easy when I am in a rush and I forgot to pack my lunch the night before. Um, I will just take one of these with me and some carrots and an apple, super healthy, easy, easy lunch. Um, so this one has salami and this one has pepperoni. And then I got some cream cheese for my bagels, which are sitting right there. That's for the morning. And then I also got tuna for the same thing for lunchtime. So these are just little pouches and I can keep these um, in my classroom and just eat them right out of the pat pouch if I am in a rush. We have like literally 20 minutes for lunch and I'm not even kidding. So we don't get a lot of time to eat. Um, so I have those and then I was gonna do the same thing with these. These are the little microwavable Annie's mac and cheeses. So I was just gonna keep those at work in case I need something really quick and I don't have time. And then the same thing with these. These are the microwavable, um, uh, what do you call them? Oatmeal, <laughs> that's the word. Um, I was gonna keep these at school for the same reason because I have to be at work really early. And if I don't have time to um, eat, then I can just microwave one of these in the morning before classes start and eat that. I got these chewy bars for the same reason. Just a quick snack, whole grain. And then I got these apple cinnamon crisps for the same reason. So if you can kind of tell the whole theme here is quick, easy, healthy snack. I'm not eating potato chips, but genuinely I have almost no time to eat lunch. So I'm trying to keep it relatively healthy. So these are rice crisps, gluten-free little snack. And then I got some gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. I'm kind of trying to cut back a little bit on the gluten. I like to kind of pair, like this is not gluten-free. Like it's just a little uh, like coffee cake mix. I kind of like to do a little mixture of some things that are gluten-free and some things that are not, some things that are dairy-free like the yogurt, but I also have um, creamer in my coffee in the morning. So it's all about balance. I try not to overeat um, too much dairy or too much gluten. So all about balance here, but this is gonna get me through the whole entire week, probably two weeks at least. We'll just kind of see how this week goes, but I thought I would include this little grocery haul at the end in case you guys are curious what I shop for. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed to my channel with those bell notifications on. That way you never miss a new video and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.